Monday night and 24 hours after it was scheduled, this fight takes place in this Spanish bull ring under the stars and Hannigan comes to work to defend his world title for the third time against Gene Mad Dog Hatcher of the United States. A man who only knows how to come forward. And Hatcher does indeed come forward and they clash head on as we thought they would. Jean Desvert, the Belgian referee, clearly in no mood to stand any nonsense early on. Well, everybody knows that Hatcher is the sort of fighter who comes to fight, but he's over. The first punch, Hunnigan thrown, and Hatcher's all over the shop, and he may not get much further. What an amazing start. This man, Hunnigan, is really turning on the works as world champion. And if Hatcher survives this, it's a miracle. He's gone. He's absolutely out on the ropes. It's finished. There is no further fight. It's all over in about half a minute. And Hatcher isn't up yet. Hunnigan, in the Spanish bull ring, has applied the sword in the most dramatic way to Gene Hatcher. And that is not a good sign. Hatcher is not up yet. That is the most astonishing world championship win in years. And it's been done by a British champion, Lloyd Hannigan, 27 years old, in his 31st fight, and that's his 31st win. And there haven't been many more dramatic world title wins than that. Full marks to Hannigan, but one, one feels disturbed for the welfare of 28-year-old Gene Hatcher. His father bending over his head. His father is his trainer. Mad scenes around Hunnigan. One would wish for a little more concern for the welfare of Hatcher. And he's still out. The first punch that Hunnigan threw got him, and he was a helpless target on the ropes from that moment. Well, these are the most astounding scenes. Hunnigan's third defence of that title. He stopped Johnny Bumpus in two rounds of Wembley in February. He appointed the Tor Morris blocker at the Albert Hall in April. And now, an even more dramatic win than he achieved when he won the title over Don Curry last year. Hatcher, thank goodness, is conscious, but only just. Here we go again. This was the lightning strike of all times. Hatcher got the first blow in, came forward looking for him, got another one in. And that really was about all that Hatcher achieved in this fight because the moment Hunnigan struck, it was over. Hunnigan who came into the ring in a shimmering Matador's cape and he's done the Matador's job here. Hatcher furiously intent on coming forward and making a fight of it. That was the first left. It was the left hook and then the swinging right hand. As Hatcher reeled away from the left hook, the big right got him. And it was a miracle, really, that he beat the count at that point. And meanwhile, Hatcher still being attended to by his father, by his manager, Dave Gorman, and by doctor. had no further chance after that big right hand he made such a brave start there was the right swing again that wasn't the finish of the fight because the brave man actually got up almost instantaneously and then there was the mandatory eight count and from that moment Hatcher's fate was sealed because Hannigan was in storming mood and he took him to the ropes and there he went to work on him in grim and dramatic fashion. And Hatcher could do nothing about it. He was out on the ropes. He was unconscious, I think, round about this point. And the referee, to his credit, came in 
fast enough. In fact, Hunnigan, I think, realised that it was over and turned away. He didn't want to do any more. And the best sight of all is that Hatcher has been propped up on a stool and seems to be reasonably OK at the moment. But it's too early to say. And Hunnigan goes to him to commiserate with him and to see how he is. So Hatcher has come all this way from the United States, former World Light Welterweight Champion, and now destroyed in something like 30 seconds or maybe even less by Lloyd Hunnigan. Congratulations on that. That's the most sensational win I think I've ever seen. Thank you, Harry. Um, I make a change. I'm knocking them out a bit early in the first win, and Bruno doesn't. <laughs> Just give me your account of that fight. It didn't last too long, so it won't take you too long. No, well, I thought I'm a trainer, Bobby, that was a knock man in one round. I'm not here to joke around, and I want to really put in a big show for all the fans that turn over and come over here to see me fight. So I want to put in a big show. And um, Gene had to be saying... back in London that he's going to knock me out because he's nice to have a white champion and all that which I think that was ridiculous I'm saying you're saying things that don't upset me Harry but uh, the punch I hit him with we have knocked anyone out he came to you he tried to take the fight to you you must have you, you were expecting that I was expecting that and he, he did it his, um, exactly as I expected him to do Harry so I just throw the, uh, the right hand that we've been practicing in the gym. We just, I was just practicing on the pad with my trainer, Bobby. He's got to come out, and this was the first thing that I threw. That was it. We were all a bit concerned for him. He looked a bit bad. What, what was your impression? Well, you know, I was so excited. But after I calmed down for a few seconds, I came over and told him sorry about it, you know. And I was sorry. But um, it was boxing. But I just told him I was sorry that, that he got hurt like that, you know. Do you think that's the best performance you've ever achieved? Yeah, it's one of the best. I don't think it's the best, but I think um, I've done better. You've done better? It's, 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 a good, it's one of the best oh, knockouts, so. <laughs> right. But you must feel a bit sorry for Hatcher. I mean, he uh, he tried to take the fight here and it didn't work. He came to fight, Harry. He came straight at me to fight. And I caught him with that right hand. And that was trying to have knocked anyone out. And that was, the fight was all over. After that, I just went over and said to him that um, I'm very sorry that he got hurt like that. I'm, I feel sorry. I just said sorry, you know. You've been, you've been cooped up in your room for the last 24 hours, waiting for this to take place. Yeah, I've been cooped up. Well, it's not just for the last 24 hours. I've been cooped up in my room for, for 10 weeks now. I've been in my room cooped up. Uh, so it's not just here. It's on the stage for the two months training I've done over there. And the two weeks I had here. So I've been cooped up in my room. And this is what you've got to do if you want to remain champion of the world. 